campaign. How involved were you? Were you advising him? Did he ask you for what's my messaging? I know. Uh, I was giving uh, Lito Banayo. Kasi galing rin ako sa galing rin ako sa uh, campaign management. So I was more like uh, giving Lito Banayo the uh, even I'm a friend of the mayor. Pero from time to time, nagbibigay ako ng feedback uh, of, of the decisions they make. Pero generally, I, I keep uh, uh, my hands off. Up uh, wala ako do. Uh, I more I focus myself lang more on getting the scoop. Pero sa advising, uh, there was uh, less of that compared to 2019 uh, because I didn't want to be the one to to rock the boat or to be the one to. Because I also know na how how hard it is to run a campaign. Mm -hmm. Katapos meron na uh, I mean, uh, Isko already gave his full trust and uh, and confidence kay Lito. So I had to I had to uh, respect that and support Lito sa mga decision. Very, uh, that's very official of you. Very, <laughs> very congressman. <laughs> uh, but, ito sir, punta na tayo sa hard reality. Oh. Ang iyong kandidato na talo. Okay. Paano ka poposisyon ngayon sa administrasyon ni Marcos? Uh, wala naman akong interest talaga to, well, do you mean position to ingratiate myself? Ganon? Position as in how do you navigate? Kasi, of course, nanalo si Marcos sa isang dami ng vloggers niya. Tapos, it's not welcome terri territory for someone who's as critical as you. Are you going to soften your image, your attacks? Ano, ano ka po ang position? Are you in a... You, you know, you know what, I, how, uh, what I see in there, what I see in this situation, is that this is my year. This is my year. Remember, only 31 million voted for him. And 89 million did not, either because they're supporting Mayor Isco, they're supporting Lenny Robredo, they're supporting Ping, or they're neutral, or they're still ineligible to vote. So, ngayon nga, nakikita ko sa page ko, nag-gravitate sa akin yung mga Lenny supporters because of my is, uh, 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 stance towards uh, towards Marcos, nag-gravitate sa akin mga DTS. So I have to correct your math ha, kasi baka kailangan yung qualify. The voters are... The, the voters are... I have voters! No, I mean, I was more thinking of 100, 110 million people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but really not, not necessarily the voters. Well, there's 13, 31 million came Marcos, but there are 26 million that did not vote for him. He still has the majority vote. That 31 million can have its value. No, I, I, was, I was more thinking about the general population, the 110 million Filipinos. Kasi ngayon, kahit mga 6 to 7 years old, nag, uh, okay. nagso-social media na yung mga ineligible to vote. But your point or, is... Or yung mga matatanda, or yung mga... Kasi marami rin ako uh, subscribers sa uh, abroad. Who feel arms, Australians, Filipinos. Bottom line, you're seeing a market, you're seeing a community in, in non-Marcos voters. Yes. And, and there are more, there are regions. What, who, are, who are more? Kaya ako uh, ba ang subset? The, yung, yung hindi bumoto kay Marcos. And nakikita ko rin mga di, uh, uh, disgruntled or woke na Marcos supporters. Kasi remember, some of them voted for the 1 million, promise of 1 million. Sir, sorry, I have to ask this. In, ba ba ang usap, sir, na ang aking marketer, ang aking community ay? So, ang tanong ko, Ano yung sino ang target audience mo ngayon sa YouTube? Ang target audience ko ngayon yung those uh, who did not vote for Marcos. Those who are neutral, who don't believe in Marcos. Those who are still out to know him very well. Yung hindi pa nakaboto or yung mga mga teen arms abroad, mga OFW na hindi politically uh, they're beginning to gravitate to my page. At kasama na rin, na rin yung mga Marcos supporters na who are slowly beginning to realize na una sinabihan sila 
Pag nanalo, ilalabas yung 1 million plus Taliano Gold. O either, either. Taliano Gold or 1 million. Disillusion. O, oh, yeah. Na, mga disillusion na una, and namumonitor ko sa mga, sa mga through my sources, una sinabihan sila, ibibigay kung manalo. And then, wala. Wala na ibigay. So, sinabi sinabihan sila ulit, wait lang, wait lang. Kasi yung basa kanila, bayad ng 100 to 200 para mag-register. Meron silang mga resibo ipinapakita na 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 bumoto ka talaga sila at they place to vote before the election so sinabihan ko oh, inauguration bibigyan na kayo wala pa rin and then sinabihan sila wala kasi kayo nag uh, nag open ng land bank account and marami mga subscribers ko sinasabi na nanay ko nag open na ng land bank account kasi bibigyan na daw last friday okay, sir, we can talk about the details later ito yung oh, yes, oh. Yet, so See, so, are you positioning yourself as an anti-Marcos blogger? Hindi naman. Uh, itong, itong paningin ko ah, dyan. Ah, sir. Buong pa mong usapin. Hindi ko pinaposition ang sarili ko. Uh, I'm not positioning myself as an anti-Marcos blogger. I'm just positioning myself as a uh, as a pro-Filipino blogger na in, in, a, uh, in an electoral reform advocate. Yun ang gusto kong tingnan sarili ko ngayon. Because... Uh, Okay, uh, whether uh, kalabanin natin si Marcos o hindi, wala na eh. I mean, we can't do anything more. Pero uh, I'm setting the, the last right scenario na helping in my own little way educate people about what happened in the 2022 election, what happened during martial law, what, uh, how we got... Uh, from 55, 555 million dollar debt uh, from the time of Makapagal to 27 billion dollar debt from uh, sa 1986 we, which we are still paying in, in year 2025 yung original utang so I'm telling people na all of this happened and what they can do about it not ngayon, too late na for that nanalo na eh What, uh, but I'm hoping that uh, by you know projecting this in social media, people will learn, people will wake up, so that they will be better voters, hindi mga bubutante, come 2025 election, senatorial election, and local election, and more importantly, 2028 presidential election. Kumbaga, wala na tayo magawa ngayon. But, Di ba sabi ni Marcos, uh, looking forward kami, not backward. Ako, I want to, to look backward because uh, how can we move forward if we don't look backward? So, I'm, I'm not really, marami nga sinasabi sa vlogs ko, mga, mga, mga bashers na uh, move on na daw ako, uh, kwan daw ako, ang palaya, bitter daw ako, pero nation building is not, uh, you know, you cannot move forward from your role as a responsible citizen eh. Kumbaga, it's, it's your respect, tinan mo. At yan rin sinabi natin kay sinabi nila sa atin sa time of Duterte. Mm -hmm. Ang move forward na kayo, akwan kayo, bitter, ang palaya kayo. Move forward na kayo, For, forget what's happening, quiet down na kayo, shut up. We, we did shut up. Takot na takot tayo, baka ako, takot rin ako, baka arrest rin ako. And then boom, we woke up to learn na 13 billion pala iniwan sa atin. Eh, it, it, yun ba? Will he pay that for that? Si President Duterte o tayo magbabayad yan? So, I'm telling, I'm telling people through my blog na huwag huwag na tayo maging tahimik, huwag na tayo maging, uh, maging takot, huwag na tayo... You, we, we should, we should uh, speak out na and be vocal. Kasi, like ito ngayon, isang example. Ah... Uh, Nag-ingay tayo sa party ni Imelda. We'll see. Baka may effect yung pag-ingay natin. Baka hindi na nila uulitin yun. So, yung mga ganun. My next question. So, you're, not, you're saying that you're not anti Marcos. But of course, you're critical of Marcos. The next question. Are you also critical of Duterte? Yes, I'm also critical of Duterte. Because, uh, um, nakikita naman natin na lahat ng mga problema natin ngayon, lalo na sa ekonomiya, is tied up to that administration. Uh, ako naman, uh, I've been, from, from my days in the Inquirer, I expose yung, yung 
sinabigan sa time ni Ramos, and then sa time ni Gloria, and then sa time ni Pinoy, and then sa time, and I, and I won awards for it, yung sa Port Barrel, time ni Kwan yun, time ni, uh, before era, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, kaya nagpan, nung time ni era, nagpanit na sila ng, ng pangalan ng Countrywide Development Funds to okay. PDAF. So, so, so di, di na dala ko, I mean, Ganun na talaga ako. Kung it just so happens, sinasabi ko nga na kahit si Isko pa naging presidente and kung meron ako nakita mga policies na nakikita ko in to public service. So, sa akin, incidental lang na nandiyan si Marcos and I, I really feel that it's my responsibility. Kasi ganito tayo, yung problema sa Pilipinas, meron pa tayo yung, yung Spanish Times na mentality na ikaw, Gobernador Silio, ni ni sa mata mo hindi tayo pwede magtingin eye to eye because you are God I'm just nobody ako I'm telling people na tayo ang we are the masters they are just our servants kaya nga public servant ang tao international politics, politics are you yes. Lenny? Uh, kay Lenny naman uh, I'm uh, in a way uh, I share some of her values ay ang kay Lenny lang ang problema ko lang yung party niya yung liberal party kasi we know naman not everything was uh, roses during the time of Pinoy na doon din bumutok yung napoles sa uh, napoles sa uh, Port Barrel scam and then nag nag-audience pa kasi napoles sa Malacañan and then doon din bumutok yung train so so Lenny is okay but uh, the people behind her kumaga it will not be a good actually a good government na or or perfect government kung nanalo siya kasi marami rin siyang mga packages magdadala sa Malacañang because there will be there, there are people who who enrich themselves during the Cory administration and who enrich these are the, the businessmen tycoons and congressmen mayors senators ganun okay as a candidate but the crowd is not good for Lenny Da. Okay, yung kandidato, pero yung crowd. Ito namin yung sinasabi ko yes, na namin. Yes, the crowd, the okay, crowd, yes. Yes, yes. isa ko na yung mga kandidato. And this, ulang pangalan na kakabit, sir. Are you positioning yourself as an opposition blogger? Uh, no, I don't think so. Buong uh, pa ang usap, sir. Ha? Buong pa ang usap. Okay. I'm not positioning myself as an opposition blogger because uh, uh, to, to position myself as an opposition blogger, I'm, I'm putting myself in a situation na maging kwan ako, maging, uh, and I said that in one of my blogs, obstructionist ako, uh, o progress, kasi I'm always telling my subscriber na let's give Marcos the benefit of the doubt, and I'm always telling them, okay, what if by, by some miracle, na-realize niya one day, he woke up one day to realize na ang sama-sama ng kwan ng ng reputasyon namin, pati yung mga anak ko. What if one day he does the opposite of what he, his father did? So sabi ko, uh, five days pa lang man, tingnan natin. So ako, I, I go, I'm not really an oppositionist. I'm just siguro a neutral and more pro-Pilipino. I'm a dissenter. Kaya lang, uh, kung nagkikita ko masama, tulad yung Kalida Appointment, tulad yung kay Pastrana, uh, may vlog na ako dyan, na-record. Pero I praised uh, uh, I praised uh, President Marcos when he announced that he will assume uh, the post as uh, Interim Secretary of uh, Agriculture and also when he vetoed the bill creating the Bulacan Ecozone. I like the word you mentioned. You, you don't want to be called opposition but you label yourself as a dissenter. What's the difference? Uh, yung sa center, yung sa opposition kasi as the word connotes, oppose na oppose ka eh. Sa akin, I don't like that rin kasi... So, i-clarify ko sir, the center or the center? The center, the center. I don't know, the center. The, the PhD I, I think, center, gitna. Ah, gitna, gitna, yes. Okay, let's carry I'm, I'm, I'm more Pili- pro-Pilipino. I would, I would, I would, uh, I w- kasi ganito yan eh. Uh, I've, I, I, I told you I've been around. Mm-hmm. So, presidents, senators, congressmen, uh, parties, political parties, they come and go. Eh. 
So, if you position yourself as an opposition, meaning oppose ang oppose ka na lang, uh, you know, in the strict sense of the word. Sa akin, kung tama, I would support. Like, just like kay Lenny, I, meron ako isang blog, I supported their NGO. So, uh, sa akin, uh, I, don't, I don't want to put myself in a, in a position na parang tingin sa akin, parang obstructionist. Obstruct ng obstruct. For the sake of obstructing, Mm-hmm. Kung sa akin, parang, parang yun yung sinasabi nila, yung sinabi ni Mayor Isko na may ma, may masabi lang. So, I, 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 don't, I don't relish to, uh, having that kind of uh, image. Sa akin, I would rather be loyal to the Filipino people and to the country. That remains constant kasi these politicians, I, as I have seen in my experience, and some of them or many of them are my friends, they come and go eh. They come and go. But a part of being a part of the center, medyo malawa rin na siya center. You don't oh, really become oh. dead center. But me looking through your vlogs, you also get to choose who, who will be your haters. Are you going to get more haters from the Duterte and Marcos side or the Lenny side? And I'm seeing from your vlogs, you're more of attacking and combative sa Marcos and Duterte side as compared to Lenny. Hindi mo siya ako kini-criticize si Lenny. Marami rin ako nung during the campaign. Pero mas marami kong side na to. Even yung... Yeah, 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 yeah. Hindi yeah. yeah. wala na well, si Lenny. So, uh, hindi, hindi naman gaano. Ayun nga, kung, kung nakikita ko nga may basis to to attack, for example, parati ko sinasabi na tahimik na si Lenny nung campaign, <laughs> pero yung mga attack dogs niya ang nagpapakalat ng yes. isko resign, mga ganoon, yung yung si Per sila Per si Lapid na vlogger din. So, uh, ganoon. Pero yun nga, like I said earlier na uh, wala naman talaga ako nakikita na on the personal level uh, yeah, kay Lenny. Saka yung, di, kahit dinawan, wala kang vlogs masyari sa dinawan. It's really Mark Marcos and Duterte. Yes, yes. Hindi mo pa ka rin to a, a certain extent as compared to others na nasa gitna, you're pretty critical too. Yes, as yes. So, for example, si Mark na Models of Manila, you're closer to like si Ban at Bay na ra-ra-ra. Pero ikaw, medyo may yeah. travel ka rin. No, I, I would say, uh, kasi uh, Ban at Bay, syempre, yung, uh-huh. yung mga, what, yung style niya is different. Eh. I would say, hmm. if you watch my vlogs talaga, I'm, I'm, I'm far critical than, si, si, si Ban at Bay can use strong language, pero when you talk about, uh, really delivering the truth to the people, I think, uh, mas enatch not higher, higher ako sa Banat. Yeah. You're enatch lower kay Banat, but you're not higher kay Mark. Yes. Let's talk about thumbnails. Medyo may pagka-clickbait din yung iyong mga mga titles and saka thumbnails. Is that a necessary compromise for you? Uh, let's just say it's more, more do, I, I give freedom to my uh, uh, I, I just produce the video, they do the research, I make the analysis, I, I put out the opinion, and I leave it to the... Kasi we, uh, we're also targeting the young generation, 70, 70% of mga voters uh, young millennials. So are you saying that it's out of your hand? Uh, Kasi you're still, you're still the final uploader. Yes, so but uh, I give them freedom. Kung meron ako nakikita na hindi maganda, uh, minsan nagpagkakamali sila. So, uh, I, I ask them to change it. Pero, most of the time, uh, kasi sila ang nakikita ko may feel talaga about uh, about what clicks, what clicks, uh, minsan na... Uh, For example, itong isa. Ako, so, very, very formal ako sa mga... Sige, yung isa pala. Ito, ganang Duterte behind bars. Nakakatawa siya for me. Alam mo, uh, is this uh, okay for you? Kasi for sure, if you're a journalist, up until now, no good. Ito kasi may bars, nasa bars si, si Duterte, nasa likod. And then another one, may clearly unflattering photo ni Clarita Carlos. Tapos yung, <laughs> yung title, title, this is very vloggy, very bordering or kahit, this is a title that even Barat Pari would use. Unang action ni Mark was sampal kay Senator Jaime. Very graphic. Ano pa ba dito? Ah, uh, yan, uh, yan, ako, uh, yan, ako mismo yan. Ba, nauulit nga ba, ang na, nauulit nga ba ang nangyari sa nakaraan? Question mark. Yung oh. question mark, gamit na gamit din yan ng mga oh, yes, vloggers yes. eh. Talk to me about that. Adopting this style of... Ganito yan. If you, if you see you, uh, I mean, hindi naman sa nagyayabang ako. Medyo intellectual ang dating ko. I mean, kumpara sa mga ibang vlogger pa, utood, music, mga gano'n-ganon. 
pag gimigini, pa sound effects, pag tapos yung iba, meron pa pasampal-sampal, gano'n, di ba? Sampal, ginamit mo rin ah. Ha? Ginamit mo rin. No, I mean, sa, yung, yung mismo sa, yung mga sound na gano'n, okay. sound effects na gano'n, yung iba, yung iba meron pa gano'n, meron pa mag-graphic na gano'n. So, I, I don't have that. So, I know na yung message ko, uh, like, like, like a tree, if it falls in the forest and nobody hears it, it that, that did it make a sound? So, ganun rin sa akin na inaalaw ko yung mga yung mga millennial staff ko to to push it, to push the envelope as uh, uh, to gain attention. Kasi ka, kami mga vloggers, we, we battle each other. I mean, ikaw nga mismo sinasabi, ang dami talaga, the dirt of, uh, of vloggers out there. So, yeah, people have only four seconds eh, to, to appreciate a a thumbnail and then to click even less than four oh, less than four yung mga three lang na eh so, so is that so a battle you're willing to fight that really is a game that you have to partake in yung thumbnail game yung click date game in order to survive uh, yes yes in order in order to to be heard in order to be to get my message across yeah i'm on a, on a mission so i have uh, to play the game to gain that uh, mission Kasi alam ko naman, di ako, di ako nakakasayaw. Hindi ako nakaka-tiktok. Pero, uh, at least sa thumbnail, uh, di ako nagmumura sa mga vlogs ko. At least sa thumbnail, I, I, I get people's attention uh, that way. Let's remove your vlogger hat for a bit and be the political strategist, communicator, analyzer for the second, for this question. What does that say about our spaces, our communication spaces, na kailangan clickbait yung ating nilalabas. Kailangan mayroong flame or may fire yung ating titles para lang tayo makakuha ng tamang audience para lang may labas yung tamang information. What does that say about our current situation? No, sa akin naman na um, <laughs> uh, not, nothing changed naman eh. Sa time pa ng mga old uh, since newspaper was uh, invented uh, Kuhan na talaga, gumag- and, and difference naman kami eh, nasa YouTube, pero even if you look at the tabloids, eh, ganun naman talaga, meron, meron pa ka dyan yung mga bomba star na nilalagay sa, sa front page. Eh. So, you just have to uh, to make yourself visible and stand above the crowd. Otherwise, uh, sayang rin yung mga uh, effort uh, to, 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 to work on these blogs and then nobody watches them naman. I like the term you use, it's like tabloid. So it's like the tabloidization of YouTube. Tama ba? Hindi naman. I don't uh, call it that. Ta- sa akin lang, it's... Uh, uh, look at it this way. Uh, the, the Filipinos are not really intellectual. I mean, unlike the Europeans, they read books in the train. Ito, ito, di ba? Na, Napabankrap na ba yung national eh. So, uh, even if I were in Europe, uh, or I were in uh, Norway or I were in Sweden, I don't think I will use this kind of uh, thumbnail. But I'm in the Philippines. Eh. Nakikita, kaya nang tawag natin bobotante because uh, these people really don't, don't really think, don't really know. It's, it's actual ignorance talaga eh, uh, that makes them bobo. So, th- th- this, are, this is the, the, the kind of people I'm trying to reach. That, uh, that with this mindset, uh, at least mabago ko lang man bago dumating yung next presidential election. Kasi kung magkamali pa tayo sa next presidential election, alam ko, hindi ko na alam ko sa atin pupulutin. You stand by that statement? Tawag mo talaga sa mga viewers mo, bubatante rin? No, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not, my viewers are very intelligent. And uh, in fact, uh, Sabi mo you're trying to reach out to them. No, I'm trying to reach out to those who we call Bobotante na who voted for who voted for noon, Duterte and then ngayon, the 31 million they, Kasi if uh, we cannot let these people rule over I mean, di ba unfair? Unfair talaga na ano, we try to do good for the country kami may NGO and yet we are dictated upon by people who do, do not uh, really uh, evaluate yung vote nila. So, um, my, my, uh, not, not me. In fact, I, 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 let, I seldom use the word 
Bogotante. Pero this is how they are described. And this is a sector as described that I want to reach to. Do you agree that they are Bogotante? Uh, sa akin lang, hindi na siguro sila informed. You understand Bumala, why they're called Bogotante? You understand why they're called Bogotante, but you would not call them Bogotante? I don't understand. want to call them Bogotante because uh, sa akin lang, for example, uh, yung going back to Lenny, siguro hindi lang talaga they they marketed themselves above them. Eh. Kung they only reach out to them, kumbaga, sa akin, failure of communication lang. Kumbaga, eh, uh, uh, failure of uh, uh, failure to reach them talaga at their level at their level uh, they should have used more uh, blogs youtube that time kasi yan na talaga ang kwan ngayon eh. mm. so so kumpara you, you really have to use all means to re- to reach out to them describe to me how powerful youtube is you come from you know all the old guard, old yes, guard guards yes. of uh, journalism and PR where may term talaga tayong ginagamit dyan, tri-media. Tri-media, yes. Saan papasok ang vlog in China at YouTube? Kano kalapas ang YouTube in this day and age? Uh, I would say, although uh, figure show, second pa lang siya sa, second pa lang siya sa, sa Facebook. Pero I think uh, in, in a few years more, in fact, kahit mga one year, baka marami na rin na mag-gap ang gap kasi dito yan yung, yung sa nakikita ko na ngayon lalo na yung mga live uh, live uh, post ko meron ko eh meron high degree of closeness eh. you, you develop you develop a closer tie with with your audience and vice versa na kung makikita ko na sa picture like that made uh, uh, Facebook popular uh, kumpara sa yung actually nakikita mo yung tao for example, nag, nagla-live ako nag, uh, nag-react yung mga tao and nag-react rin ako and then I read their comments so mas mas malalim na na relations kaya nakikita natin na parang siya ang mas nag-replace sa TV and TV is the number one medium naman talaga so siya na slowly at saka yung ease of uh, is of use rin na kahit whenever, whenever you are nasa, nasa kwarto ka, nasa kama ka nasa CR ka you, you, can, you can watch it mm-hmm. para yung Netflix no? di ba may bibo bibo ba yun <laughs> sa Amerika yung yeah, oh, 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 na, uh, na naging mas sikat rin sa TV because uh, on demand so ito ganun rin eh news on demand uh, lifestyle in demand ganun yung pwede mo panoorin any, anywhere Anytime you want. So, yun ang, yun ang uh, YouTube.